got the ramps down on the trailer i got to get the skid steer the uh at the shop here and the skid steer is wedged between too many excavators so let me move this one out of the way and, uh, get the skid steer out Let's put this back up. We can't leave it just sitting outside. back in there let's chain this down and get to the job to the backyard we go considering we got like four inches of rain two days ago i don't think it looks too bad a little muddy right here john's already came and got the last load of brush while i was getting all this stuff loaded up to bring here Start. Oh, got one more load of brush. I gotta start raking through this and get the rocks out, pile them up. Slowly shape it up, get everything cut down and leveled off. Uh, 
looked up with the skid steer. Back over here, loaded that one load, got one more load of brush and mud and roots to load out and all that'll be gone. But the 220 needs some government juice. I like to keep it full. It's below a half a tank, about a quarter of a tank. I don't like to it just seems like everything stays better if it stays full. So I'm going to fill that up. Load that load out. And just kind of slick this up. As you can tell, it's uh, it's holding water over there. I set up the laser. The flags that he put out aren't exactly the way it's going to be. But uh, it's about four feet deep. So I'll cut that out and use that for the dam. And I'll have a little bit of depth to it. Just a nice little pond right here behind the house. Gurgle gurgle good old government juice gotta love it ta-da everybody's happy well I'm back out here I stopped by the horse arena job and it's just as wet as I was expecting it to be, but I wanted to swing by here real quick and get an idea because the next time I come out here, we're probably going to start hauling dirt. So I brought the transit to shoot some grades and kind of see how much dirt I'm going to need. I, kinda, I know the size of it, and what I need to do is calculate how much dirt we got to bring in. I still, I'm still going to try to cut that down maybe another 10 or 12 inches, so that'll come down which means I can take that dirt and waste it over here. But I know for sure that I don't have enough dirt to get this to where it needs to be with the dirt on the site. So what I'm trying to calculate now is how much dirt I've got to import. So rods on the same grade, checking it off the bottom. So only needs about 12, 14 inches right here to get that level. We're trying to get this a level and then also enough dirt around here to be able to build a little road around to be able to access back here so i probably need to go grab the tape measure and see how this thing lays out in here again because like right here i know for sure i'm gonna need like probably two feet three feet probably three feet maybe three and a half I mean, that's halfway up to my chest. So, and I honestly, I think it's more like right here. We're just trying to get this completely level. And as you can tell, that up there. So, with me standing right here, it's probably almost four feet. Yeah, four feet. Bottom of, bottom of grade rod. And then we're trying to get it to this stake over here. So even right here, I need, how much do I need? Well, won't it read? Read. Almost three feet. So still a pretty significant amount of dirt's gonna have to be brought in. I mean, it, it is what it is. Got to make it level what I'm hoping is I just leave it well enough alone and how much am I going to here on this post I mean that's a five foot T post and it's 18 inches from the top so almost four feet right here 
but this is the property line so I got to kind of taper it if that makes sense and let a little bit of dirt go over it but not a not a whole lot all right well that kind of tells you what I need to know what I can do is kind of calculate pretty much I'll do a zero amount of fill right there 12 inches four feet and three feet and I'm just kind of calculate that out and that'll give me my yardage that I'm gonna need to haul in let's see if I can do that real quick on my phone well I figured up like 40 loads of dirt I need for that horse arena and uh, came back to the house getting the trucks filled up for tomorrow get some diesel fuel get that tank filled up I've got to hook the three axle trailer up put the grading bucket for the Volvo on that trailer and my six inch siphon uh, to take over there because I've got to lower the pond down because I'm sure it come up some from the four inch rain we had Loaded down, ready for tomorrow. Always uh, busy days around here, and went and start the off road truck, and it spun over about 10 times, and the battery died. So now I'm gonna come back down here and pull the batteries out of it and put them on the charge. Always something. See you tomorrow. <laughs>